We have a new balance update test mod for StarCraft 2 Public to try, and this has been created by the Balance Council. Now I'll go through the changes ever so briefly, but mostly what I want this video to be about is talking about the Balance Council itself, who's it made up of, how it might work, and if this is really the best strategy that we have as a community going forward designing the game. Because honestly, we have a lot of ownership now, with direct input by pro gamers, so we could really shape the future of StarCraft 2. Now it wasn't long ago that we had David Kim and Dustin Browder and the old Blizzard Balance team making changes to the StarCraft game. And we used to get changes pretty infrequently, I would say, but when the major expansions came out and then past Legacy of the Void, we had maybe a big one every year or so. We no longer have that. We don't have Blizzard support in that capacity. What we do have instead is the Balance Council. So if you're unaware of who the Balance Council is, essentially it's just a group of pro gamers and community members who have all come together and they're now making update Balance mods and eventually Blizzard will publish them, it takes a bit of time, We've had a few already, and some of them have been pretty impactful. They've also copped a lot of criticism, and that's quite to be expected, because when you have these public figures, Harstam gets it a lot, I think, Pig as well, who make these comments and have these impacts on the Balance Council and how, where we go as a game, you're going to get a lot of flack. So that doesn't surprise me one bit. But they put out a new patch. Let me talk you through it really quickly. So for Terran, they have completely reworked the Cyclone, a change that I'm really excited for, and I'll talk about this more at the end of the video. They've also nerfed the Ghost, which I think is to be expected, and slightly buffed the Widow Mine, although if you're reading people complaining about the Widow Mine, really it's not the biggest deal, especially against Protoss. It doesn't really affect Widow Mine drops. They've also given a new upgrade to the Medivac, good, and they've also put the Interference Matrix of the Raven behind an upgrade. Zerg is getting a lot of changes. First off, they're nerfing the Lurker. This is to impact the late game, and a lot of the changes in this patch address this area. They're also changing the Infester, slightly buffing the Viper. Once again, it's a bit like the Rinner Mines. Don't worry, don't freak out. They're making some big changes to the Broodlord to make it more maneuverable, but for the Broodlings to be a bit weaker. And because they're rearranging the strength of some of the late game units, the Ultralisk is getting a slight buff. They're also merging the Hydralisk upgrades, which I think seems to happen all the time over the years. Sometimes it's one, sometimes it's two. You get the picture. And most importantly, you're no longer going to be able to one-shot probes with upgraded banelings because they're nerfing the damage, as well as the baneling HP that you get when you research baneling speed. So for Protoss, they're making a whole bunch of changes, but honestly, I'd categorize them as mostly minor. So for example, they're reducing some of the costs of some of the upgrades. In terms of bigger changes, the Disruptor is getting nerfed because EMP is also getting nerfed, so there's a bit of a trade-off there. The Void Ray is finally getting fixed. It's no longer going to be bugged, and in fact, it's going to get buffed. So if it becomes oppressive... I'm very sorry. They are also slightly increasing the maneuverability of Tempests, which is something that could be really interesting and we'll see how that plays out. But most importantly, they're making a lot of changes to the Mothership, which is really, really exciting and really cool, and I'm all for it. Even if it's worse, I am so on board. So those are all the Balance changes, and just like David Kim back in the day, the Balance Council has got a lot of flack for these changes. But really, if you look at it, like in a vacuum, all the changes are fine, right? Nothing is really that bad. But especially when it comes to the Protoss changes, people thought they didn't go far enough. Like, who really cares that the Sentry has two more seconds of Guardian Shield, or that the Stasis Ward has a bit more extra vision? Is this going to be game-changing? Is it really going to change Protoss and how their fortunes are at the moment? Like, we really don't know until the patch goes live. It might help Protoss, it also might just keep it the same. So why did this happen? Well, put yourself in the shoes as one of the members of the Balance Council. You're a pro gamer, you play 12 hours a day, you compete in this game in big tournaments for big money, and your livelihood is on the line. You have to then convince somebody of making a change to buff your race and nerf theirs. No wonder we get this Sentry Guardian Shield increase by 2 seconds. Like That's just a nothing change that everybody can agree on. If you want to do actual hard-hitting big changes, the only units that you can touch are the ones that aren't used at the moment. And that is why we see big changes to the Mothership, the Cyclone. I mean, it's a unit that's rarely used, right? So we can completely rework it. We can't suggest something to a core unit, like a Zealot or a Stalker, because if we get it wrong and we make a bad update to it, either that's all Protoss players aren't in tournaments, or they're in every tournament, and we really don't know how often that we can patch the game. Is Blizzard going to help us put out a hotfix? So this is why we can only touch these units that are rarely used and try and improve them. So in my ideal world, I'd be looking at buffing gateway units, maybe buffing the Adept, adding a late game upgrade to it or something like that. Instead, we're trying all these little cute things like reducing upgrade costs that really are just masking the problem and slapping a band-aid on Protoss. Like at this point in StarCraft 2's history, we might just have to come to the conclusion 
that Protoss is fundamentally broken and it needs vast sweeping changes to really get into a usable state. So while the pros of the Balance Council are trying their hardest, they're well-meaning, they really want to make the game as good as possible, they're just hamstrung by their own limitations. They can't make the required changes necessary to really make StarCraft the best game possible because that would possibly be jeopardizing their own future. If we want StarCraft 2 to end up in the best state possible, which I think as a community is what we all want for all of the races, we need to be doing more changes like this Cyclone change. I don't even know if this is going to be broken, if it's going to be too weak, whatever. It is a big change, and it's going to be aiming at some of the underutilized units. And so where the Balance Council can freely act, they're really choosing to act there. I'm really trying to ask you guys to have an open mind, because maybe this turns out horribly. Maybe it's useless, nobody builds them, we can look at, again at them later. But if we don't start making changes to these units, then we're never going to be able to make changes and have the belief in ourselves that we can make changes to some of the core fundamental units of StarCraft 2. Maybe like Gateway units and Warp Gate for Protoss. If I solely was the only one creating patches for StarCraft 2, how would I approach it? I think my number one approach would be to prioritize fun. Things that are really detrimental to the enjoyment of the player base. Because we're never going to get balance 100% right. There's so many variables that come into balance. Player skill, the maps, the meta, just general day-to-day -day things change all the time. So we're always going to be able to make these tiny little adjustments to balance and go around and around in circles. But oftentimes when you do that, it makes the game a lot less fun. And I think that is what has happened to StarCraft 2 over the years. Like ideally, we're going to redesign Protoss from the ground up. We're going to nerf Widow Mind Drops because who has fun dying to Widow Mind Drops half of your PVTs? This is not fun. It might be balanced, but it's not fun. Like we should be looking at all these sort of things. I think the Baneling nerf is a really good step in this direction. No longer one shots probes with the upgrade. That's amazing. If instead of making these tiny adjustments to units to make them ever so slightly more powerful, ever so slightly weaker, how about we look at redesigning them from an aspect of fun and how enjoyable they are to use, as well as how enjoyable they are to deal with. I'm not saying you should make the game for children. Like there should still be tension in the game and uneasiness. It should be tough to work with, but some of the things that we've had to put up with for 10 years are just not fun anymore. If we come back in a decade and we're all still playing StarCraft 2, is this how we want to leave the game? Maybe I'm just getting old, but my relationship with StarCraft 2 is changing. I'm moving away from being a pro gamer that has to rely on prize money, so I really just want to have fun playing the game. And in its current state, maybe because I'm a Protoss player, I really struggle with that. So while I have nothing against this patch, I think it's fine, there's no issues with it overall, I don't think it really addresses what I think the game needs to succeed for the next decade. I want to have fun with the game, but let's not forget, that's also completely subjective. Probably a lot of people are going to have different aspects of what they find fun with StarCraft 2 compared to me, and that's fine. Somehow we all need to come together and make the game as good as possible, because I think at the moment we're just sort of treading water and there's a lot of people moving away from the game. So my final takeaway message for the community is that we need to continue to be loud and make our voices known that we still want change. Of course we need to do this in a respectful manner, but constant discussion does get noticed. I'm certain of it. And to the Balance Council, I hope that bigger, more drastic changes can be made in the future, and we're not so paralyzed by all losing our tournament income. Because if we don't make changes, who knows? StarCraft 2 might be dead in a year.